I'm watching these two girls with the the, uh, the boogie board as the tide comes in. That's my job. That's my duty right now is to watch it. Hey, they say, uh, check that out. Hold on, let me stop it. Let me stop it, Marianne. It's a feather. They say a feather is a sign uh, from somebody in heaven saying hi. So that's kind of cool. I saw that today out of all things. A wet feather. Of course, there's a million seagulls, so it wouldn't be an odd. It wouldn't not be an odd thing not to see a feather. But anyway, um, I don't know. This is what beach. This is what beach life is like for me. Uh, lots of lots of nights with it. The water is just beautiful. The sun goes down over there. It sets. It sets um, in the west, and it comes up here over the ocean and on the east coast where I'm at. The water is actually beautiful today. I'm, I never take my shoes off and go in and I'm, I don't like water, but today is actually pretty nice. And it's strange because this feather has like been around at my feet for a little bit, strangely, in and out of my legs. <laughs> Doesn't that sound kinky, right? I don't know. So this is what it's like in New Hampshire. We got uh, hotels over there. We got, there's a street, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's hotels and a street. And then we got a uh, just kind of beautiful scenic coastline, that's what you'd call it. And uh, yeah, so here's me just chilling out at the beach. Uh, just want to say hey, all you YouTubers. I told you guys I would give you content. It's not very often somebody comes and says, hey, Chris, get out of the house, you know, so... Obviously, I took him up on it, and that's that. Um, hope you guys are all well. And yeah, these two—they scare me when they scream. You know what I mean? Even though nothing's wrong, they're screaming, and I'm like, they just flung something. I think it was either a piece of seaweed or a—I don't think it was a sea worm. Sea worms are disgusting, by the way. They got like little tentacles on them. They got tentacles on their head that kind of suction cup you up. And uh, sea worms. Go look up what a sea worm is on Google. Disgusting. Sometimes when I'm clamming, I'll be clam, 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 and digging away. And some days the sea worms are like crazy. And they charge like 10 bucks for a dozen worms here. It's it's crazy. Back in the day, it used to be three bucks, three fifty for a, a dozen sea worms. And uh, you know how inflation works. Remember back in the day, how much we used to pay for a loaf of bread? I'd pay six, 65 cents for a can of soda and 35 cents for a bag of Doritos. Every day, it'd be a dollar five. I'd stop at this little store after school. And now it's like $9 for a bag of Doritos. You stop at like a gas station, it's like $9. It's like crazy. Seriously. Um, I don't know. You know, where are the good things gone? Why do they make things? And the thing is, too, they make things smaller. Bags of chips. Lots of cops today. I don't know if you guys can see all the cops, but in the distance, if you look at the lights, there's a lot of cops. So I, t I tend to stay away from people. Look down here where it's quiet. There's one or two people in the water. And where are the two girls I'm, I'm supposed to watch that don't get sucked out by the boogie board? Oh, there they are. All right. I thought for a second, I thought they were over there by that rock. And I'm like, oh, no. But no, they're, they're right where... They're right where I can see them, where my shoot my finger is. So that's good. I didn't have anybody drown on my watch. That's always nice. Because there's no lifeguard right around this zone. There's lifeguards, but way down. I don't know if you can see the rest of the beach. But it goes for miles and miles and miles. And it kind of stops at a bridge. You have to walk over the bridge. You can't, you can't walk the beach. You can't just say to yourself, I'm going to walk from Florida all the way up the East Coast. Because sometimes there's breaks where the water and land break, you know, the land stops, so you gotta go over a bridge and walk over it. So this goes for a while though, and then you gotta go over a bridge, and then there's there's my beach where I live. But I'm not there because sadly they made this rule where when you get a car, they give you a sticker to park when you register a car. But if you're a resident, they don't just give you something every year that says, hey, I can park here even if I'm in someone else's car. So I can't park at the beach that I live at because they're assholes about it. They need to they need to change things like that. They need to like send a resident every year out some type of sticker or, or a pamphlet to put in the window, some type of 
piece of paper that says I can park here, you know. But they don't, and so yeah, I'm not at the beach. I love. I I don't like the waves, to be honest with you. I mean, you might see, you might seem like Chris are a little bit of a bitch, a whiny bit. There's some uh, seagulls there, just taking in the action. You might think I'm a little bit of a whiner. My allergies are still bad at the beach, but I'm actually not. You know what I mean? I just don't like the waves. I don't really like the water. If you really want to know, I hate it. And uh, and I knew enough to not to wear my hearing aids today because I learned. They must be getting uh, crabs and snails and a bunch of guys over here look like they're going to be drinking and fishing in a minute. You can tell the people that fish because they have these big white buckets that they get from Lowe's apparently to put their fish in. But most of the time you don't catch nothing. It's 11 bucks a day to fish here. And to be honest with you, it's not worth it. Nah. You're better off just going to the local co-op, buying your fresh fish, and then uh, having a nice night without having to worry about getting your line hung up in something. See, I'm watching, that's my thing, is I'm watching these two kids over here. My friend has her uh, grandson over here, and yeah, so that's it. <sighs> it seems it seems like I should be unwinding and and uh, not stressed out and comfortable. Oh, check out my sweater. For the rest of the summer, I'm gonna wear this bad boy. Gotta love it, right? Yeah, that's one of my favorite places on earth, by the way. It's a cool place. Anyway, all right, I'm out of here. I hope you guys have a good night, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little view of the sea, the, the calm and the waves the waves crashing. Sorry about the, the uh, wind and the sound, if you can hear me at all. Alright, I'm out. Bye guys.